All right, it's Stafford Gamut time. Wait, did you want to be white or black? Okay, you want to be black. All right, I'll play the magical line. I'm curious now. How do I play the magical line? Bishop E2. Okay, so this is a line I've had. I've had more on the black side. I feel like I played Ross the Boss where we had a game G3, Queen H3, and then Bishop F1. That was a magical connect eight game. But here I'll go for yeah, Bishop H or Bishop to F3. Well, let's see what, what Ross has in store. Oh, Bishop D7 is what Ross played against me in the past. Um, I mean, I should probably just bite and take the bishop. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what uh, what's in store here. So, casting queenside. Now, how scary is this? So, I have queen e two. I think queen e two is uh. A reasonably safe option. And we played this, like, the same thing at some point, I think. And now bishop f4. The problem is if I move bishop g2, then bishop g4. Like, white could already be in trouble, here, trouble there, which is kind of crazy. And even with this line, like takes, takes, g5. Wait a minute. Am I lost? Well, I have to be really careful. I don't know if I can take that. Am I just losing here? That's crazy if I'm already just losing. The second game in a row. I want to play this, but I get made in one move. And the problem... I was so focused on g5, I forgot there's bishop g4. So I think I have to run this way. That's not what I want. I, mean, I could take and take. I am up a piece. So I get two pieces for a queen. Okay, I'm going to play this. This is super, super dangerous. And then... Probably this move. So Ross came prepared. Where did I go wrong? It's a cool idea, though. Bishop was pinned and the queen was stuck. Maybe, like... Maybe bishop f4 sooner in knight d2. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Because I can take the bishop. And then take the knight. I take with check. And then this move. Wait, wait, what did I do? No, I only have two pieces for the queen. Why did I think I have three? Okay, I'm in trouble again. I should not have played that so like quickly and confidently. <laughs> 
Oh no. I'm still alive. Kind of. Hey, it's Tagi. What's up, Tagi? If you're just joining, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Rossaboss might be beating me with the Stafford. Why is my pawn hanging? Let's play for. So many pawns are hanging. We're playing no increment either. I should have taken this a little bit more seriously. Oh no. Okay, rook a3. Rook a3. Start throwing pieces. How many things am I down? I'm down queen and three pawns for bishop and knight. And down a lot of time. But apart from that, maybe things are okay. I don't know what my plan is. Maybe e5. Hey, it's en passant. Hey, maybe I'm winning a pawn. Unless queen takes. Okay, some progress. It's still really bad, though. Okay, I have to make it so the bishop defends the rook and defends the pawn, which in turn defends the bishop. If you're maybe here. I mean, we might see the sack. Wow, a queen here. I'm ready to play this though. Ensuring everything's defended. Don't perpet me. I think I'm playing for a win now. <laughs> but it might be hard to play for a win if I get perpetted. Okay, not exactly what I want. There we go. Mm. 
Okay. One second left. Oh, I was getting crushed though. I was really close. Good game, Rasa Boss. Also, respect for not repeating. It was really close to repetition there. Oh, man. I threw man, that was insane. Your opening prep was insane. I know we played this once before. And the last time I also got a losing position. Engine says it's really, really good for white. But... Has this occurred on Leechas? Wait. Oh. Okay, so... Wait. Okay, I found our game from four months ago. Where I also... I played knight d2, which loses to bishop h3. Which is crazy. This game, I played bishop f4, which also just loses. My dog Krieger says hi. Oh, hi to Krieger. Also, woof woof to Krieger. Woof woof to all the dogs watching right now. Man, so there's there's a few ways light can go wrong. Wait, Queen E2 is already a losing? Queen E2 is already losing. Queen E2 looks so natural, too. BH3 was my prep if ND2, then I sack. Winning back my uh, piece. So I'm supposed to just leave my queen develop. Bishop e3 is like a weird move to play though. So it just allows this. And then allows discoveries. Like it feels really wrong to leave the queen aligned with a rook. That's nice prep. Yeah, I feel inspired to use this. Because the move I've been playing recently we look at my black games is bishop e6 with the idea that after takes then the bishop's a little bit better placed and a lot of people play queen e2 which loses to knight e5 there's yeah there's only a couple games here it, it hasn't been so well explored but queen e2 is the most played move i want to put this on youtube I want to call the YouTube video. I got crushed with the Stafford Gambit. BD7 has some crazy discovery ideas, which is why I love it so much. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, especially if white, like the top engine moves aren't so intuitive. I guess Knight D2 though. But Bach's still getting, still getting some compensation. Like ninety five, if bishop e two, then man ninety three. So bishop e two, but then bishop h three, and white's a little bit stuck. Yeah, I'll have to to look into this bishop d seven move. Okay, yeah. Hello to future people on YouTube. Shout out to Ross the boss. If you're watching in the future on YouTube. You can meet me and Rossavos in Vegas. I'll leave a link in the description. Vegas Chess Festival in June.